Hey guys, welcome back to I Eat Pie. Pie. And today we have some homemade. Did I just take your pie? I don't know, did you? <laughs> it's fine. Your stuff, my stuff. That's what I learned in marriage. Um, yeah, today we have homemade barbecue rib sandwiches. Mm -hmm. They were going to be pulled pork, but then the ribs. Technically they are. Yeah. Because you pulled it off the, the rib. And we're also going to be answering your questions. Give you guys like a two hour window, window to ask questions and you guys came through. So thank you for asking us. We'll try to get to your questions. And the questions that we don't answer, either they weren't there when we are filming this, mm -hmm. or they've been answered in previous ones, previous um, Q and A. So they, they will be in the little video thing right here. If you want to go check that one out and uh, yeah, so we're going to pray and then we'll start eating and then we'll answer your questions. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this time together to share this meal with our pie fam. And I just pray that you bless this for our body. In Jesus' name, amen. One man. All right. So we have two different type of ribs yeah. here. So the ones on the outside are the more... They're, they're both supposed to be barbecue, but the ones on the outside are more... Not tart, but what, what, what would you call it? Tangy. Tangy. Okay, tangy. And then the two sandwiches in the middle are more of a sweet barbecue um, pulled pork. So, oh, my sauce is dripping. All right, here we go. This is a brioche bun. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I think it definitely hit the need of this brioche bun. Brioche bun is so good. Mm hmm. I'm gonna start from the community tab. All right, so some of you guys asked like several questions, so we'll probably just pick one of them, just so that we get other people a chance to ask their questions. Um, so, Roro Hadi says, well, she has a few questions. <laughs> what were your childhood hobbies? Childhood hobbies, like, when I was young, young, or like high school? Yeah, high school. Okay, so high school, my hobbies, well, like sports, mm -hmm. we would go, we lived like right behind, or right in front, I guess, of like a big field. So we'd go play baseball, we'd go play um, touch football, we'd go play whatever. Back there, what other hobbies? I always liked art stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, I don't know, like, what other hobbies? I always enjoyed running with my mom. We'd go for five kilometer runs. I don't know how many miles that is, but we do that. Um, you guys play outside a lot. Mm-hmm. My always. hobbies? Sports. Um, I wouldn't say these hobbies, but I had to go to, like, math. <laughs> Math. Um, that's not talking? a yeah, that's definitely not, not a hobby. Okay. A hobby is something that you enjoy. You and you want to do. Oh, okay, so then yeah, it was mostly just like outdoor sports. Um, I played a lot of video games growing up because my parents didn't let me go outside much. Uh, and not yeah, I didn't get to really spend time with my friends till I was in high school. So wait, this is high school, right? So I'd say yeah, just hanging out with my friends and then playing video games and. And playing sports. So thank you for that question, Roro. Um, it's your girl Tay, she says, or asks, How do you guys know Sass ASMR and her sister? I seen your son did a video with their son. Also, what is your skincare routine and how do you stay looking so young? Well, he's Asian, so he stays looking young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything for this luscious skin. Mm hmm. Um, we know Sass. Well, I don't mm -hmm. know her personally. I know. Sissy. Because, sissy. Yeah, Sissy. Mm -hmm. Because she, her, her son and our son go to the same school and they live quite close to us. And then Sass would. I, I don't know. I don't know her. Yeah. No, I think Salem's met her a couple of times just because she was picking kids up from a school or whatever. Mm, yeah. But she's in like Thailand right now, so. Ooh. Good times. <clears throat> but yeah. We, yeah, so basically we don't know Sass, we just know sissy because our sons are at the same school and we live close to them so like we'll run into each other too mm -hmm. which is 
Or that just was kind of around. fun, just yeah. walking, yeah. And what is your skin routine to make you so beautiful? I try to drink lots of water. And because my skin is so dry, I try to take out like hemp oil in the fridge, like different oils. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I always have to put like a thick, with oil, moisturizer on my face. It's so funny because he has like oily skin mm -hmm. and I have like dry skin. I'm like, man, I wish so I had. So Leo's going to have perfect skin. Mercy, Mercy Chavez asks, would you ever consider moving to the States? Probably not. I really love Canada and so does Chan. Mm -hmm. And our family is in Canada, so it'd be, it'd take a long, we'd, like, even if we moved to, like, close to Seattle, it'd be, like, our drive to Grand Forks to see her parents would be probably, like, upwards of 10 to 12 hours. Mm. Oh, to see mom and dad. Mm. Yeah, they're more in the interior. See, the beautiful thing about Canada is, well, first of all, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and second of all, if you want to live by the ocean you can live by the ocean if you want to live it live in like a deserty more area like osoyoos okanagan is like deserty so really hot and dry if you want to live in where it's like kind of mild it's kind of in between like the coast and mm -hmm. i don't know if you want to live up north in the snow you yeah. can literally live up north sure. in the snow so there's just i don't know i guess the only good thing i mean there, i'm sure there's plenty of good things in the states Healthcare. Healthcare, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, we haven't had to use it, but the well, off chance that we do have to go to the hospital, I don't want to pay, like... For having Gideon. Oh, yeah, true. How much do you pay to have babies in the States? Yeah. The Not off sure chance anything. you have to go, like, take the uh, the ambulance to the... I don't know, because you, you broke your leg or something. I don't want to be coming out of the, the hospital with, like, $3,000. Mm -hmm. Right. But we, we do like a business just because everything's mm -hmm. so cheap down there. That is another good thing. They have You guys have such cheap stuff down there. Everything up here is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Even just the difference between Amazon.com mm -hmm. and Amazon.ca. I'm like, oh, why? Yeah. You want me to ask you if you're so you can eat? No, I've been eating. I'm ready to eat. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sage Catherine asked... <clears throat> How are you similar as parents, and how are you different in your parenting styles? <clears throat> I don't um, think we're similar <laughs> at all. You think we're similar? I don't think we're similar. Oh, you don't think we're similar? Well, we, we both agree on things. Mm -hmm. But, like, the way you do it, it's more like nurturing. Mine's more like... Because <laughs> I'm still learning to be a parent, so it's, it's hard to disconnect the, like, oh, you're, you're just annoying me so how do I do this without taking using the emotional in this oh. mm -hmm. my approach is like love and discipline which I think is yours as well mm -hmm. but I feel like I am what is that no clue mm -hmm. I am very like relationship focused and so, like, if I, like, I know if I'm starting to feel a bit of disconnect between, um, like, the girls and I, or, like, then I, like, make a point to, like, oh, I need to, like, make sure that connection is still there and it's not lost, or, like, not to leave it for, like, more than, like, a few days or whatever, mm -hmm. which I think is, like, more of my focus. So, like, even, yeah, or, like, with Salem or whatever, I'll go in, like, ask him questions, how he's doing, just, like, talk to him or whatever. Whereas I, just leave it. That's like the, the bad thing that I picked up from my parents was that we never talked about our problems. We just let it float away. And then... Mm, yeah, we were talking you know. about that. Well, we just need Jesus' help us. He sure does. Sure. <laughs> Which one do you like better? This one. Do you? I like the sweeter one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I definitely like the more... Um, why do I always want to say tart? Tangy. Tangy, thank you. <laughs> this one's good, but... Brenda Whiteside. How does it feel to have such a big age difference between the baby and your older kids? I think it's awesome because they can literally help. They can just drop off, ghetto, 
if we're doing something important or we need a little help, we just drop the kids or drop him off with the, the older kids. And then they're able to just watch him for like maybe like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And we can do our thing and come back. Whereas if they're younger, it'd be much harder because I feel like they wouldn't really <laughs> pay attention that yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, totally. and <laughs> And I mean, we, we don't just like, here, take Gideon. It's like, hey, can you watch him? Like we usually ask, like, hey, can you watch him just for like five, ten minutes while I'm like pulling stuff out of the oven or like, you know what I mean? Like while we're, yeah, actually doing something that's hard to hold him. And because he's like army crawling now, so he like. Where are you? Speeds to he, wherever you are. And I'm like... <laughs> yeah, he's a fast one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Ruth Plummer says, Cross me... Oh, she did it too. Cross with me, Colin. Right there. She, you got, it's a one full one where she must have pressed enter. Oh, my husband and I call each other... Okay, sorry. This is what Ruth Plummer says. My husband and I call each other Buttercup, Babe, Mom, and Dad. And if he is cross with me... Oh, I see what you mean. He calls me by my name, Ruth. What are the name? What are your names for each other? I just call her Babe. That's... I always call him Babs. B A B Z. She said she's called my name a few times, and it's like. And he was like, "What? Don't call me that." <laughs> it's so <laughs> I was weird. Like, oh, well, I will call you that usually when other people. And I'm, like, referring to him or something. Oh, yeah. But, it, yeah, it's so weird. And then I'll say, oh, yeah, Grant said this or Grant did this or whatever. Because mm-hmm. um, it was funny when my mom stayed with us for a week and then I was calling you Babs all the time. Then she a few times called me Babs <laughs> when we were just, like, talking and stuff. And then I laughed. I was like, oh. But it's true. When you hear somebody calling that person that name all the time. Like, for mm-hmm. example, even with the kids and their teachers. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so, but yeah, that's about it. I, I do call you, um, like, Papa or Dada when... When Guido's... When, yeah. yeah, with Guido or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, look what Dada got, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. Yep. Yeah. No special names. <clears throat> Not like Buttercup. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Renee Runian says... No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll have any more children? I mean, we didn't think we would even have Gideon, mm-hmm. but uh, the Lord had other plans. Um, so you know, but yeah, no, we're we're definitely not. Uh, we're definitely hoping not to have any more wonderful surprises. Yeah. Um. How do you say that, Toggy? Toggy K. Toggy K. What is your biggest pet peeve? Mine used to be slow drivers, but I feel like I've totally mellowed out the more years that I drive. Um, I think my biggest pet peeve since being a parent is repeating myself 30 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get tired of hearing it, hear my voice just say the same thing over and over again, and it's just like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that, yeah. Um... My or pet peeve. I have a, another pet peeve from work is when people don't show up to their meetings without telling me. Like they don't even have to tell me. Oh, I, uh, any reason they just gotta tell me. Oh, I won't show up, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. But when they just to stand you up, yeah, it's like a pet peeve. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's fair. What are my pet peeves? I don't know. Your pet peeves. Dirty, dirty so house. Slow. Oh, well, I don't know if that's a pet peeve. Pet Not peeve cleaning up home, after yourself is a bit of a coming pet Coming home peeve. for a vacation and the, the house is messy because your husband didn't clean it up. Yeah. That makes me <laughs> crazy. I don't know why. But that I feel more like stress once the house starts getting and I'm like, whoa. Even like the other day when the kitchen was like completely cluttered. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm really stressed. <gasps> so I was like, I need to, you know, clean it or whatever. Um, how long have you been together? Asks Christina Abieta. We're married one and a half years. Wait. Yeah, because Guido's almost six months. Yeah, one and a half years. Is that right? We're married in May. May, J- May June, July, August, September, October. Oh, almost one and a half years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you meet? How did you propose? Oh, how did I propose? How did you propose? It was such a surprise. She didn't even know it. 
As I was on the ground, she didn't even know I was proposing. Well, because I was looking at the kids thinking, why do they have it on video and not taking a nice picture with all these beautiful, huge trees in Vancouver that were all cherry blossom trees and it was so pink and beautiful. And I was just like, what are they doing? And then lo and behold, I look over and I was like, <gasps> as I'm looking down and I was stunned. And then started to cry <laughs> as I was in shock. <laughs> but it was beautiful. It was like so perfect. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Good job, love. Oh, I call you love. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I call, I call him love. love too. Well, that love is more, if I text her, it's, I'll just say love. And oh, yeah. Say that's in, in person. Yeah, that's true. So it looks like we can't figure out how Instagram works. Or maybe you guys didn't uh, ask us any questions on Instagram. That's very true. But yeah, we hopefully we answered most of you guys' questions. We will probably do another like Q and A whenever we do our forty thousand subscriber video. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have, just haven't had the time. It's been a busy couple of weeks, especially we have been almost every week we've had a guest over or someone visiting, which is nice to have mm-hmm. that space for people to yeah. visit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this month has been pretty crazy. So hopefully next month we'll do one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any other questions, have any questions for our and, next yeah, Q&A. Will probably t- message you and ask answer your questions through that because she likes answering your questions. I do. Yeah. So we'll see you guys next time. And yeah, bye. <laughs>